that's the view from my host's Airbnb window. I'm in Berlin, but you're still in Blackpool for episode three. I have four more segments for you. Hope you enjoy them. Eventually, you'll you'll leave the UK. I think episode four or five, you'll be in the same country as me. Sorry, you're a little bit behind. If you want to catch up with me and be with me live, then follow me on Periscope at Jonathan JK. We're on the promenade. Uh, Blackpool Pier, Blackpool North Pier is over there. Blackpool Tower is in the distance. And down here is a car rink. And it's really windy. We just happened to come inside our visit with Blackpool with uh, an air show that is on here for uh, the rest of the day, really. At four o'clock is the Red Arrows. Have you ever seen the Red Arrows, Raya? No. Welcome to Blackpool, where it's just really busy at the moment because they've got an air show on. But if you want a city that is basically one big fairground, hot dogs, candy floss, fun for all the family, then, then this is your place. You'd think something was going to happen to us. That's what Blackpool feels like sometimes. I used to work here. What as? What as? I used to work in catering. This is Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Ladies and gentlemen, Blackpool, thank you very much, everyone who stopped here patiently waiting for me to do something incredibly difficult and incredibly dangerous. I'm going to try and do a stunt which is only performed ever with a man on a motorbike with a ramp and a helmet. So, can we start the show all together? Please do one thing for me. Keep street theatre alive here in Blackpool. Keep me alive. Put some money in the hat. Whatever you think the show is worth. And I'll say thank you. The point of no return. Let's do this. Ladies and gentlemen, if you want to see this, everyone together say yeah. Yeah! All right, you sick people, I'll do it. We didn't go for tapas and we didn't do Italian, so we went to a traditional British cafe instead. Has a hygiene rating of four. So Rhea's fingering the condiments and she's very excited about the brown sauce. Why do you like brown sauce so much? Huh? Why do you like brown no, sauce so much? Like some, I, I like the taste of it and then sometimes like when you when you go to restaurants and uh, if you want to have chips and then do you have brown sauce? Mm, what's that? <laughs> What else have we got? Um, yeah, mayonnaise, salad cream, mustard. Collect them all. We're in JK's cafe. Yeah, do I need to pay? I don't know. I should ask for a discount just in case. <laughs> Largest uh, indoor arcade, as far as I know, in Europe. Yeah. Is there a no, it's not a casino. So basically, loads of. Huh? But it's not. It's not a casino. 
This is Bonnie Street Market. Oh, it's just like the <coughs> Thailand one, the Bangkok one. Yeah, similar. Stuff from China. <laughs> what did you say? Stuff from China. Say it, say it louder, the camera. Stuff from China. As usual, the promenade stinks of cigarette smoke and horses. Yeah, let me, let me, what does it smell of? Horse shit. Horse shit and piss. That's right. My sister's and my brother-in-law's shop. They're working hard at the moment. She's working on the back end and the my brother-in-law is working on the front counter. And Raya got a freebie. What did you get, Raya? Cinnamon donut. No, donut with cinnamon. <laughs> Hard at work, She's my younger sister, and she was just saying how incredible it is that Blackpool could be all of a sudden so busy just because of some aeroplanes. Right. And they come here every year. Every year. And there's always a crowd. Always. <laughs> the women in my life are very short with their answers. Can I look at those five pound notes? I can't believe how small they are. And they're plastic. And they're made of animals. Yeah. Vegetarians are upset. Yeah. And people are like, oh, I don't want that. It's made of animals. What other events are there in Blackpool that brings the crowd in? The Illumination. Oh, okay. Yeah. The World Firework Championships are in Blackpool. Quickly come down to the famous BBC One programme, the air show, which happens every year. We have a pump weekend, we have uh, young farmers, they come and just get absolutely hammered. What about Pigeon Week? Did it still do Pigeon Week? Pigeon Week in January. Pigeon Week. Pigeon, they fly pigeons. Huh? Yucky birds. No, 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 they're fighting. It's how good they they're, are. They're bread. It's banned in Hong Kong. If you leave it there, if you come up five seconds, you might need to leave it there by two and a half minutes. <laughs> Which is the most complicated machine to operate? The most complicated machine to operate would be the ice cream machine. If you don't know what you're doing, people could just get ice cream all over themselves. A lot of people can't even pull an ice cream. <laughs> to Manchester. And we had Korean. to 
Athlex Arcade. Hello, we are in Athlex Palace. We're actually on the third floor, giving Ray a little walking tour of all things uh, that are cu find, we find curious here in Athlex Palace. I haven't seen any sex toys yet. I wonder if they've toned it down a bit, but we've got local artists here. Good morning, Max. We've got the Fox Fairy little jewelry shop. A lot of bespoke jewelry and then just general razzmatazz in costumes. I actually, I actually live in Hong Kong. Where and I wanted to visit uh, Chinatown with my girlfriend, who's also a Hong Konger. Right. Just go to the bakery. You won't know it. Chao Kei Wan. Chao Kei Wan, I know it. Yeah, but you don't know it like you watch. Uh, no, that's true, that's true. The cock. Okay, and how can you tell the difference? This is, see the, the, the one you've got there? It's round, yeah? Oh, yeah, okay, like see that. Okay. Uh, that's where it eggs are. Yeah? They're expensive in Hong Kong. Are they? Okay. These, these are the lot that gets exported to Hong Kong. It costs about eight kilo, eight pound a kilo to send it over there, and they add on to it. You know? when, well, when did you move from Shao Kei Wan? Nineteen sixty-four. I came here sixty-four. Wow. Well, you got a lot of What? 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 You have Julian in Manchester. They sell kimchi and they have all the same snacks as you do in Hong Kong. Guess what I got? What did you get? Hong Kong style milk tea. Oh, oh sick. <laughs> oh, mate. Hey, look at this. USB ports and a bus stop. Wireless charging and a bus stop. Manchester. There is Blackpool Tower, way off in the distance. We're now ascending up to a height of 380 feet in just 69 seconds. And in that time, we'll be passing through 2,593 tons of metal. Once we do get to the top, we'll be exiting through the doors behind me, where you'll be faced with our glass skywalk. Please do feel free to have a jump around on there, as it does hold up to five tons. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> too Hey, welcome to the top of the tower. Got my sister over there with her kids. And we are like 300 feet high. This music is annoying. Over there is Petsmax Big Rock, uh, South Pier, Central Pier. We can go higher. There's North Pier. Uh, again, the Metropole Hotel, the only hotel on the promenade. This is where we're staying.
it's it's messy, isn't it? Well, I'm gonna check out this TV. Let's see if I can work it. Can't even work an aloe clip. Lens case. So. Here's my family's TV. And if you didn't know, I don't have a TV. I've not had a TV. TV. Well, actually, I've never owned a TV. But I, know, I haven't been in a house with a TV for over 11 years. I'm going to try and get Game of Thrones on this TV right now. Okay, press power. Oh, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in it. I saw Craig do this, go into the P. Oh, it's not even available after all that. And then? And then move up. Uh, on your phones? Yeah. And arch, you know. And then tuck your toes. Tuck your toes. Touch my toes. Tuck your toes. Like this. Right. And it's up. <sighs> yeah, form a triangle. That's a downward dog. It's probably the triangle. Yeah. Yeah. Put your right knees up and try to move back. And touch the ground. Yeah! Like that. Voila! Oh, yeah. okay. Oh. <laughs> Basically, been our breakfast uh, for the past couple of days. Ray's got clotted cream and uh, scones and crumpets. And I've enjoyed my crumpets as well. Oh, my, oh, my, oh, my. And they're Warburton crumpets. And we watch Game of Thrones. We also went for a drive together. There's Rhea in the back. And we went to the gym together. We went to the Imperial Hotel. It's really old. It still has a ladies powder room. Lancastrian suites. That means it's a dining room. This is Palm Court. It's just a view of the other hotels. This room is just for Lewis. The aperitif bar, the Churchill room. This is the lobby. It's kind of fancy and it's very old. Dan's got a quick fact to share with you because we're all starving. Yeah, what's what's so special been, about this hotel? We've just been to the gym in the hotel that basically when in Blackpool any people come here of substance. It's notoriety, celebrity or of we, uh, political importance. Do, yeah, they all sleep, stay here. So who was famous that stayed here? Uh, all the strictly come dancing people. Right, we're starting off Prime low, Minister. are we? Prime Ministers. Anyone royal, I don't know who, because I don't really know oh, okay. but anything that's going on here people come here. Right. This is the place to be for the fames. Right. Here we are, hang up the jack t-shirts. Yep, hang up the jack t-shirt. On the floor and muddle it, come on. Get on the floor and muddle it. Come on, just stand up. Never mind, get, get, get our muddles here. Our sins, get up here. Go walk around. 